Welcome everybody to the world's first ever carpool running shoe review. So people, this is a world's first. We are doing carpool shoe reviews. We've got Toby in the back. Say hello, speaker. Right. And if you did it size as well, it's on camera duty because I'm driving, it's illegal. Um, and we are following up on the streak fly, the Nike streak fly, because Toby has hit 30 miles in his. I'm wearing mine today, so I'm going to give you my, and it, literally, I've just done part run, right? So uh, you can't really take what I'm going to say is there any sort of indication it's any good or not. But what we want to do, we're going to talk about it as we drive back from part run, because we want to do, because Toby's basically got the ump about, <laughs> about the Nike street fly. So we thought we'd do carpool shoe reviews. It's, it's a brilliant idea. If you've never seen carpool karaoke with James Corden, we're totally ripping that off. So um, is it all right, boys, if you listen to some music? Depends what music is. No, that's what he says when he, he says when the thing. I've never seen it, obviously. <laughs> right, so it's a bit lost on the boys because one, um, they've never seen carpool karaoke. Two, I started watching it when I was off because of the surgery and I had nothing better to do. As Toe said, I've had nothing to do for three and a half weeks, so I've like smashed the life out of YouTube. So these boys have got absolutely no idea what we're doing. So Toe, just to remind the viewers, right, 30 miles-ish in the shoe, right, you've done a mixture, I would say is fair, in it? Mixture of different things. You've done quick 5Ks, you've done a long runs in them, you've done bits and bobs in them. Um, I ran a day... I said you can't really take much attention but it, it was 5k which is what the shoe's designed for uh, and it was mixed terrain over at Chelmsford Park run um, and at the end of the other video which is 21 minutes long so we'll save you a bit of time we all said uh, as a conclusion that probably was supported by the 510k shoe which is what the street fly is just go by the speed too which we between us all agree is probably one of the best all round shoes out there at the moment yeah Okay, right, so with that out of the way, a little bit about the shoe, just if you've not seen what the Nike shoe flight is, it's a 5K 10, 10K racing shoe from Nike, it's got, so Tom, you've got a pet, where's your one, Sharp? You've got, um, I can't remember what the drop is in it, uh, but you've got Zoom X, basically, you've got Zoom X, it's as light as anything, it's one of the lightest shoes out there, it's 135 quid, they're coming back in stock soon in different colourways, and... I think that's probably about it, Tobin. In it, uh, they're designed to say for 5k, 10k's. There's no plate in them. There's like a TPU insert about mid in the midfoot rods in it. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's a little shank. That's it in the middle of the shoe. There's no plate in there. I think that's it in terms of yeah, quite flat, isn't it? Quite flat. Fits true to size, Tobin. Mine, mine are okay. I would say there's there's more room in there than I was expecting. But I wouldn't want to go down a size. Toby, in terms of sizing? Yeah, I think similar. I'd like see mine are fairly tight. Yeah. But, but you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to go down a half a size, would you? No. Right, so I think that's it in terms of an overview of the shoe. Let's now get into um and by the way, apologies for the camera work, size of camera duty today. So we, you could be looking at the ceiling, right? So just heads up. This is a world's first, remember. Um so yeah, let's get into what Toby thinks really about the shoe. Right, okay, so, firstly, my heels, this is really random, but my heels are aching now, driving along here. Now, I don't know, all right, my my time today was relatively slow for me. I appreciate for some people it's not. 24 minutes today, I was just literally, I was deliberately going slow. My foot strike wasn't optimal. I wasn't doing what the shoes, you could argue, is designed for, but I'm an everyday runner, and I would want a 5K shoe that I could cruise around in at part run. I think that's fair. Yeah, it? no, definitely. Right, so if I want to run a 24 minute park run, I want to be able to run it in these shoes because it's designed as I don't have to be smashing no, it up. No, you don't want to be smashing it out all the time, right? But my heels are aching. And I don't know whether that's the shoe, but I've got a feeling it is the shoe. And it's really weird. Now, now, now I put that down to the Zoom X because it's so soft and I could feel that all the way around. How I was just like, I just felt like I was. Sort of, yeah, like a trampoline off of the concrete. Smashing the floor. Yeah, it, it was a really weird sensation, but yeah, all I would say from my feedback from today, one, I didn't think they were anything special, and two, my, my heels are hurting, but I'm going to put more miles for them. So, Toe, Speedco. Now, for people who don't know about Speedco, he, he's training for a three and a half hour marathon, he's, done, he's a sub 20 part run, 
person. Um, he runs what so sub forty ten k and uh, one forty five half on average. Is that yeah. fair? Is that fair? Sorry, so that's 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 his range. Okay, so not an elite. So you know, I appreciate there's, there's people out there faster. But he's, you know, he, he, he don't not hang, slow. No, he don't hang about. All right, and he likes running up hills because he's mental. Love a hill. Love a hills. Run up snow and back down again. One hour forty eight minutes. Loves Costa. Loves Costa. Different story. So, so you done thirty miles. Now we wasn't going to do a thirty mile review with Toe. We was going to go further than that. But he got in the car this morning and said, "I'm sending their nineties back. Uh, they've given me the ump." So, so tell the viewers what's giving you the ump about these street flies. Ride. You have to speak up. Remember in the car. Can I? What? Um, the ride. I don't. I was never over keen on them. If you remember the first lap of the car round, didn't them? Yeah, you might. I wasn't over keen. The second lap, they were a bit. I did pick it up a bit, and they they did feel a bit nicer. And then obviously went. Um, Sixteen miles. Yeah. Them. After that, in the long run, they kind of did all right up until the eight mile mark. So yeah, you said in the seven. video mile ten or eleven. Yeah. So. And then I think they start to go a bit flat, but of course that is pushing it out of what they're designed for. Yeah. Um, but every time, so I've done that, so I've done those, and I did a bit of a tempo session, a few intervals, bits like that, and some other five. Yeah, because you was running up and down the car park, weren't you? I remember you was yeah. doing an interval session I for two hundred meter sprints. Two hundred meter sprints. Yeah. And how did they feel on that? I didn't think they felt anything special. That's interesting. I wasn't really, you know, they're, and that's what they're designed nice. For. They weren't lot, you know, they're light. Yeah. They're not heavy, yeah. but I didn't feel they were necessarily giving me anything. They weren't giving you anything extra? No. Do you, re were, do you reckon they're just too light and too stripped down? I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, there is this like... Um, just got too far with it. Zoomix. But, yeah, I don't know, but every time I've worn them as well, it's my calves have come out. Your um, calves? Yeah. That I can kind of feel them the following day, they're always tight. So you're running in them, and then you've got tight calves the next day. Yeah. yeah. Now that could that could be a, that could be a multitude of different things, right? Yeah. That could be your foot strike. That could be your effort levels. You know, that that could be different things that are affecting that. Yeah, I mean, I think effort levels are probably not down too too much. Nah. Just because I've done varying levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In them. Fair enough. It's every time I've done. Them. So what? You're just getting really achy calves. Yeah, really tight. They're just tight. Really tight. Oh. You know, I can kind of feel them during the run, and then the day after, they're really tight. I really have to. Do you feel like the shoes bottoming out on you? Yeah, I mean, there's not much there. I mean, I think that's the first like, part run. Well, it, no. The, to be back. fair, right? To be fair to Nike, you look at a stack of the shoe. It is, you know, and you go back three or four years, right? You're running in a shoe that would probably be classed back then as sort of not high stack, but sort of normal, right? So what people would be running marathons in. But I think. From listening to what you were saying on the way, what, I, I wonder if it's the Zoom X. Because the Zoom X is so soft, and you're literally meant to be like just touching it as you're like yeah. sprinting along effectively to get the most out of the return. If you're bottoming out in it because whatever your foot strike or whatever it is, that could be pulling on your calves. But what you don't want to do is risk injury. And sometimes, and this is the point of the video actually, because you know, I love. You know, so many all these videos about them, and this and that, and that's fine. Everybody's gonna, you know, have their own. But if a shoe don't work for you, it don't work for you, right? And and that's the thing, you know, that's the important thing. Just because some, you know, one of us on YouTube say, ah, oh, this is the best thing ever, you know, it, it might not work for you, right? So just bear that in mind. And I think, you know, Tobe saying. Quite openly and honestly, because he could have turned around and said, "Yeah, I love the shoe. You know, I'm a fanboy, Nike, whatever." To be open and honest and say it's not really doing anything for me, you, you've got to understand it might not work for you. So don't just jump on it because it could work for others. Though. Yeah, exactly. So, but I don't know. I think it's a funny thing. A 5k, 10k shoe is, is a funny. It, what would be interesting, though, now is to actually get you a pair of Takumi Sen 8s, because for me. Like from running in these today, and then obviously spending a lot of time in the Takumi Sen before I got um, before I was out. The Takumi Sen was really working for me. I really enjoyed it. It was it's a firmer ride, and it and it and it, and it doesn't feel like 
my heels like today weren't aching when I, I look well, I did that 10k well, could I you would, use them as well for more than a yeah 10K? that's the thing you could well yeah you could you could I could run a half in the Takumi you, yeah, you could if you wanted to I yeah. wouldn't want it I wouldn't want it because I've got other shoes that I would wear that a bit more versatile then yeah I just think the Takumi Sen for me works better. works better but again I'm only judging you know I can't really make a comment it's it's it, I think the feedback from toe the fact that uh, who's someone I would class as uh, of a reasonable ability yeah. is saying, despite his level, he's saying it's not really working for him. It's interesting. Yeah, but I think you hit now on the head there, isn't it? It's, it? it's everyone to their own. As you say, that the, the calf type calves could be down to anything really. Yeah. Um, and they just it's just a shoe which doesn't fit me. But yeah. As you say, it, it could be somebody you know similar ability to me or whatever, and they'll go, I love. Them. It's yeah, I don't know. I, I, I still I still think your your opinion, right, about at the end of that video, which is just go by the speed two, I think still kind of stands in a way. Because th this year the fashion is, right, 5K racing shoes or sort of really, you know, they're, they're niching down big time to sell more shoes, which is fine. But I don't know. I just think, as everyday runners, you're probably you're probably if you want a tempo shoe, you're probably better off going and getting something that you can still do like those tempo runs, but over like ten miles. Because I wouldn't fancy doing ten miles if my heels are aching after three miles. I wouldn't fancy doing ten miles in these shoes. Well, it shows, doesn't it? I was, I was thinking about wearing them for the 10 k tomorrow, but yeah, blown that out. Decided against he's it. He's blown it out. Yeah, he's got a ten k race tomorrow in London. And, it, and he's I don't think it's worth the risk. No, nah, it's because it? yeah, because you could pull up lane, and you and and Tobe's training for Edinburgh three thirty. Why does he want to pull up? You know, and pull out the street fly and injure himself? It's just not worth it, is it? So what? Two things I think, Tobe. Firstly, you're now going to test Nike's uh, returns policy. Now that will be interesting because they're like brown. Are they brown? Are brown now, are they Tobe? No, let's have a look. Actually, right. let's have a look at the outsoles. Actually, they're not too bad. What are they like? No, Right. Nah, they're not on the camera, son. Yeah, that ain't too bad, look. Nah, I mean, grip wise, that's sure. Yeah, you know what? That's one thing I would compliment them today on the grip because that, that was a bit mucky over there, wasn't it, Tom? Yeah, the grip some, was some grass. Yeah, no, that was that was the grip on these was good. Um, so that you know, that that's good, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see on Nike's returns policy when he sends them back. But I think, yeah, it just shows you that that you know, there's so much hype around these shoes, as we always say. But you've got to make sure that they work for you. And, and and realistically, I don't know, a 5K, 10K shoe? I mean, it's not even like they're like the Turbo 2. Because I had I had hopes that these would be like the Turbo 2. And I'm hoping that over the next couple of weeks, while I put more miles in them, they grow on me. Because the Turbo 2, I'd love to replace that shoe in my lineup. But I I love the Socony Pro 2. That, that basically, uh, the Socony Pro and the 1 and 2. And that's kind of replaced for me that Nike um, uh, Turbo in my lineup, you know, that, that can sort of do it all. Uh, nice, fast, long miles that you can do in it. And that's kind of replaced that for me. I don't know. So Toby, bottom line, you're a little bit disappointed. Bottom line, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. Not for me. It's not for him. He's not for Tony. So there we go. Let us know in the comments, what do you think about, one, the street fly, um, appreciate some people might not have got, had the opportunity to run in it yet because of the limited uh, set. Yeah, availability. Are you, that's the point, are you going to grab a pair? Or listen to that, you're not going to bother now? Well, because I said to you about it, didn't yeah. I? I did say, but then... Because you've got the next percent, which you like. I, I just, yeah. I, I, don't I, think, still, I don't think I've really got a reason to get, get them, to I be still honest. Just, I, I'd buy the next percent. So, yeah, let, let us know in the comments when you got the street fly. Let us know also, what do you think of carpool because we have done a carpool day, three of us have gone down to Chelsea Park Run. Carpool sh running shoe reviews. I think I think I've actually had a. This is a brilliant idea I've had. I know I say that a lot, but I actually think this is one of my best ones. Is it awesome? It's awesome. I actually think. Let us know in the comments. Have I come up with a new brilliant video series, or do you think you didn't hear it, or, or do you think we didn't hear any of it because you're in the car? So let us know. Right. Yeah, go on. Also, this we don't know what the film is like yet. Yeah, the, the camera. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I'll apologise. You better apologise now. Um, oh, yeah. Apologies for the filming. Yeah, apologies. For, and and Toby, apologise because they probably didn't hear you. Probably for the mumbling. Yeah, for the mumbling. Yeah. Right. So really, what we what we've established is that we've got a really 
we've we just video. wasted everyone's we're time. We're just wasting everyone's time. Again. Again. Right, see you later. Bye.